Hello everyone, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at our Mastercam Multi-Axis Tutorials and Toolpath series. In the last video, we show you that how you can create that one exercise and we show you that the complete simulation for that one part and now in this video, we show you that how you can do the proper perfect programming step by step, what are the different steps, what is the process and how you can do complete part programming in the Mastercam. If you are not watching this exercise part 1, I would like to suggest you first go and watch the part this exercise part one because if you want to start do the programming on any kind of part you must have to understand that how this part is going to be programmed and all these things that helps you when you watching the simulation so the simulation help you a lot to become a perfect and a good programmer and understand about that how this part is going to be programmed so now let we have to start this part programming first i would like to delete all the operations which i created right at here so for deleting all these operations or I can also open uh, this part new but first I would like to delete all these operations so just select all these operations and just click delete all operations and just ok. Now as you can see here there is no operation no stock nothing is available at here and now we have to create this part programming step by step all these things. So first we have to came in a tool path first we need to set stock setup so we have to came in stock setup and now we have set up the stock with the help of manual option and just press ok and as you can see here mastercam automatically calculate the x y and z value and as you can see here this is my stock part that created as per my this part now in the next step i would like to show you that how you can create the programming the different number kind of program that you successfully create in the mastercam so for creating different number of operations, different number of program, first let we have to start to do programming with the help of a contour option. I, for that one I have to just click on a contour and I would like to create the programming for that one edge. So I just have to click on this, just click on this, create selected tool. So uh, for that one creating that one area tool, I just to use a 20 mm of end mill and just press OK. So now as you can see here, once I press OK, so as you can see a tool is created for this one area. Now if you want to make a complete and proper program so we need the tool path in the opposite side for that one purpose we have to go in left and right in the lead in lead out we just turn off the entry and exit from this area and we have to turn on both of these. If you don't have a deep knowledge of contour first I would like to suggest you just go and learn all about the contouring and all these things that how we do the programming in our mastercam programming portion where we create the tool path for the different number of operations so you can go and learn about all these things so now as you can see this is my first area part programming and now we need to define the desktop cut this is my desktop cut I just define the keep tool down and now the next step is at here we have to define the top of the stock as well as left of my part now have a look this is a perfect and proper example of creating the programming for this one area now have a look after completing the programming of this one area now i have to the create the programming for this one is so for creating program for this one is again i can make the copy and paste but now i would like to create the programming from the starting so i just have to select this edge the tool again in a cut parameter the, all these things are same desktop cut all these things lead in lead out but the next thing is in a multi passes I just have to make a multi passes as a one and turn on this, this zigzag. I would like to repeat again if you don't have the deep knowledge of contour operation I would like to suggest you just go and learn watch over mastercam uh, first video which where we show you that how you can create different number of mastercam 2d toolpath where you can understand and learn all these things. After that we have to came in a lead in lead out. This is the multiple passes after that we have to came in a linking parameter again here you have to define the top of the stock the next thing is the depth and just press ok so as you can see here this is my contour toolpath now have a look once i have created the toolpath successfully here i can next copy and paste geometry rechain all select the same as just press ok and regenerate now have a look the toolpath is successfully created for the all their side up from the top side area 
now the next thing is we need to create the tool path for this one area for creating a tool path on this one area the total this the value is six point something so for that one purpose we can use a six mm of end mill so for that one purpose we just go in a control select this edge select a tool this is my six mm of tool in a cut parameter now the important thing is that you need to define the plane that the important and very useful thing that is going to be add on when you are working on 3 plus 2 programming in a 3 plus 2 programming you always have to keep in mind that from which side tool have to be required to be entered for example if we want to make a tool path for that one purpose we need to enter the tool from this side so for entering my tool from this side we need to click at here and as you can as you know on that one part this is my top this is my front this is my right this is my left this is my back if I want to may enter in the tool from the right side for that one purpose I have to click on a right if you want to make the tool from the left side so this is my left so as you know now my tool is required to enter from the left so for that one purpose I have to came in a parameter and I have to click tool have to came from the left side for the tool plane and similarly they come in the right side the comp tool plane should be the left and the construction plane should be the left both should be the left and just press ok so as you can see here my toolpath is successfully created but we need to make some parameters modification for that one purpose I have to came in a linking parameter I have to click on this this is my portion to start and this is my top of the stock and now have a look this is a proper and perfect toolpath which I created right at here now have a look once I created this toolpath proper and perfect way after that then what I can do the next step the next step is I can create the programming for this one upper opposite side if I want to make the create the toolpath for the opposite side what I can do the shortcut is I can make this toolpath mirror as well as so now I would like to show you that how you can create the program mirror to programming with the help of toolpath transforming in a 3 plus 2 for that is there are a lot of tricks that you have to keep in mind when you are mirroring a toolpath in a 3 plus 2 you have to came in a mirror click on here toolpath tool play including origin including the WCS and you have to select the operation and just click on here and how you would like to mirror just I choose from the two point and just select this one position and this one because this is a middle portion of my area now have a look this is a perfect and proper way to transform my toolpath from this side to this side now have a look this is the beauty of this toolpath but the thing is I need to make the modification because my top of the stock from this start from this position so this I have to click on here this is my top of the stock and now this is from this side so that's the proper and perfect way to create the programming now what is the next step to create this programming so next step to do the this programming is I have to create the programming for this one area with the first for this one area after that for this one area first I need to create this program for this one area so for creating that program for this one area again I have to do the same process so for that one purpose I have to click on a control just like this chain just press ok again tool first we need to check the which tool we can use here so this is we can use the 12 of, of end mill so for creating a tool path for this one area I just have to select select this is use a tool just press ok use a tool and this is my 12 mm of end mill in a cut parameter you have to came in a plane and you can use a tool from the right side and just press ok if I choose a right side tool came from the right side for this one area we need to select the tool have to came from the left side now have a look now we need to make some modification we have to came in a linking parameter always keep in mind you have to make always the all the parameter in a incremental as you can so this is my top of the stock this is my depth first you need to define the plane after that you need to define the top of the stock and the depth 
after that again you have to came in a lead in lead out or cut from the left to the right and just press ok so as you can see it my toolpath is also created for this direction also so for till this video we have to stop this right at here in the next video for this one exercise we show you that the, in the part 3 we show you that how you can create the remaining area toolpath like as we need to create a toolpath for the different portion we need to we will copy the same toolpath for this one area so they, I will where I show you a very important trick after that we create a toolpath for this one edge with the help of t-slot as well as we do the drilling and all these things also you will going to learn that how you can create the toolpath for this one plane for the plane and on this one particularly aware that we can't define the left plane front plane top plane or something like that so you will going to learn about that how you can create the plane for this one area and what the trick important trick that you have to keep in mind so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video where you learn a lot of new things